I've gotten weird stares, babies have cried, and girls have ran away. During the month of November, people call it Movember because it's supposed to raise awareness for things like prostate cancer. And how do guys protest or raise awareness against it? Is by growing their facial hair. But I've done it every year, but I'm Asian. And the truth is, Asians cannot grow a substantial amount of facial hair where it becomes a beard. And yes, I know, there's that 1% of you that can, specifically if you're like Japanese or if you're like my, you know, my freaking, freaking lucky friend of Vietnamese and Chinese descent that can grow a beard. And uh, you're that 1% that actually can, but the majority is, and the reality is, most Asians cannot. It ended up looking like mine, or even worse. Like, I would say I would have a little bit above average, believe it or not, this is above average facial hair for an Asian person. And yes, I know, there's things like, you can try these drugs and stuff, but I'm not there yet. I'm not, maybe once I'm older, I'm like super old, but I look super young and I want to grow a beard and stuff. But this is like literally almost, a m pretty much is a month's worth of facial hair growth. I've gotten weird stares, babies have cried, and girls have ran away. But I wanted to show you my little experiment and journey with how my Movember started off and my leading on to the other months because I'm probably gonna try to grow it a little bit longer, but this is my progress so far. Because when it comes to Asians and facial hair, Asians only grow hair on their upper lip and on the bottom of their chin and one or two sprouts here and I've seen Asian guys who try to grow facial hair and it looks worse than this it's like it literally looks like armpit hair or like your even worse butt hair on your face and it's super sparse and it doesn't look that well all right so believe it or not this is actually not bad for an Asian person right I'm like kudos to me yeah but the whole thing about growing facial hair and this and that, like, eh, whatever. You have genetics, deal with it, live with it. Some people like to get facial hair transplants. Some people like to put drugs in their face so, you know, it grows more hair. Maybe me in the future. But that was my little journey experiment with fish hair. And if you're wondering, yes, I cheated just a little bit and grew it, you know, one or two weeks ahead because it would look a lot less thicker than this if I didn't cheat. And that was my November, even to December, even probably into January, Asian facial hair, hashtag Movember, hashtag Asians can't grow facial hair, hashtag I look like something not racially stereotypical here now. And yeah. But look, look what I can do. You hear the sound? So I've literally made like a lot of videos on this already. So the truth be told is can Asians grow facial hair? Yes, but not, you know, big thick beards. They can grow primarily on your lip and on your chin, unless you have some kind of mixed blood race or you're that 1% that can. But a majority of Asians, no. And it's literally in the, like, the same fashion as mine. That's pretty much as much as it grows. But at the same time, it makes me look young. But at the same time, I think it's time to finally get rid of it. 